Okay, that works. Okay, I'll leave it up until you get stuff figured out, and then I'll quit. <laughs> huh? Good? Sweet. All right, so I'm going to quit because I don't want to play this game anymore. Ever. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, start time in three, two, one, engage. So I'm Patty, aka P Cull, four 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 four, aka Patty, aka Patty, and uh, this is Goosebumps: Attack of the Mutant by DreamWorks Interactive. Uh, this game saw its original release on the uh, Atari Jaguar. It was then ported later to the Sega CD, and then it got an HD remake for Windows 95 and 98. So that's what this version is. <laughs> um, this game is 15 minutes of gameplay and 15 amazing minutes of cutscenes. And I'm going to show you all 15 horrifyingly awful minutes, starting now with the Sega CD portion, as I mentioned. Probably the most important part of this run is this fat man's watermelon. So pay attention to that. Classic 90s bus ride, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is the good part. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. Calm down. I'm telling you, man, something doesn't add up. Yeah, it's too quiet, and it's been too quiet for days. Weeks! Over here! <laughs> I've gotten vibes, you know. Really freaky visions of them gathering at Mutant Headquarters. Any idea wh wh what they're up to, what they're up to Flo? Whatever it is, it's bad. Wicked bad. Then we gotta get busy! So, in this game, we really don't like using doors, so we just destroy the wall of our secret headquarters to leave. Let's go! Because logic is not something that matters, ever. So, something to uh, really look at during the cutscenes, which is half of this entire run, is if you can see a character's entire body, look at their hips. Like, stare at their hips and how awful the animation is. But if it's a close-up of their face, then you need to look at their foreheads. Because you're going to be in, a, like a, in for a really good treat if you pay attention to those two things. Hips and forehead. The hips don't lie, and the forehead's weird. Of course they're coming, but we'll be ready for them. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, mutant. If I had to, I could mow them all down myself. Hold on there, plant boy. If any of those losers show up, it's gonna be me who gets to rub them out. Hashtag rub them out. Not if I get to them first. Aw, oh, back off, Thorny. Just be glad one of these digits ain't a pair of pony cheese. Enough! Oh. We've got work to do. And the sooner we get started, the sooner the world will be mine! Ha 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 ha. <laughs> this uh this whole game is actually just about this really ridiculously jerk bus driver who drops a kid off at what appears to be an abandoned railway station. Great end of the line for a city bus, if you ask me. And uh, pretty soon here, we're going to be stepping into the television show that everyone remembers from the 90s, Reboot. No one remembers that at all. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm, the graphics. Mm. That's Atari Jaguar at its finest right there. I have my hand on the mouse, and I never used the mouse. That was probably a good thing I noticed that. <laughs> Also, I'm kind of nervous, and I feel like puking all over the keyboard. And I also kind of need to poop. So this run's going to go interestingly. 
<laughs> so we get our first glimpse of gameplay there, and uh, cutscene. <laughs> forehead, forehead. Hey, hold on. Easy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Listen, we're here to stop the mutants. Oh, look at it go. I'm from the League of Good Guys. Oh, baby. My name's Dinah, and we sure could. What's up, Dinah? I figure you're a real threat to the mutant because he doesn't know anything about you. He hates that, you know. <laughs> you're right. Control freak and all. Totally. We suspect he's trying to take over the world, your world, and my friends and I want to prevent that. But we'll definitely need your help. Me? We should get out of here. Needs our help. That could be the mutant now. It could be. Not, but it could be. So you can strafe in this game, and that's important because you can move. Game's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like to call this guy Squidward, because I like to call him Squidward. If you're looking for a better explanation than that, you're not getting one. Also, five cent copies. No bearing on anything in the game. Be Squidward. <laughs> and right back to cutscenes. We're not missing a moment of the action here. Outside world has slipped inside our headquarters, and he or, or she, she has to be apprehended. You ladies out there, I don't get it. Mutant is the outside <laughs> world the league of good guys. Who cares? <laughs> Those buffoons are the good guys. We know their powers and their weaknesses. We also know they ain't no match for us. But this stranger could, could be capable of almost anything. This much I'm sure of. If our diabolical plot is to succeed, you must find and destroy the intruder before he has a chance to escape. Now it's a he, Hold not a she. Get that kid! Oh. Except you, magnificent molecule man. You, you would die. Need to talk. Can't Care to tell, tell me, me what, what you've, you've done with Chinchilla? First, you tell me why you've made her your second in command. You know, I'm far more brutal and ruthless than she is. But she proved to be more deserving than you. She never questioned me. Only oh, obeyed. obeyed. My, My devotion, devotion to you was total. Was what about now? now? Perhaps, Perhaps that's for you to find out. Bring, Bring me the human intruder, and you will replace Chinchilla. Do, Do I have your word? Do, Do I have your loyalty? Only time will tell. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, where am I? What the hell? Oh, there we go. Nope. There we go. Nope. There it is. Okay. So if you walk up to a painting, you go into a green void of scariness and end up in a garden. So, goosebumps. I'm scared. It's creepy. And this is probably one of the scarier parts of the game. Hmm, beautiful. And that takes care of him somehow, even though he's made of plants and shouldn't be frightened of bees. Strafing again, very important. This game is a lot of uh, moving and opening doors and waiting in elevators. And cutscenes! Don't forget cutscenes. Fun fact about the cutscenes in this game, you can actually skip them. <laughs> Except for this one, and another one, you cannot skip. Uh, luckily, you guys totally donated to the incentive that was to have the cutscenes and not skip them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm glad you did that. Make the game twice as torturous, same eventual result. <laughs> Kid, he is money. Ah, <laughs> oh, rats. We're stuck in quicksand. Not anymore. We're good. So normally I jump over him because it's faster, but I like this sound effect really a lot. That's a dead rat for you. Whoa. Okay. Calm now. There we go. Nope. There we go. Yep. Nope. Yep. Okay. There we go. Yep. Yep. We got it. Okay. Yep. There it is. <laughs> a 
Whoa, bro, back off. Come on. So, uh, I guess if you have a donation and someone is ridiculously dumb enough to throw money at this game, you can read it. All right. We have a donation from Sky Fisher for $10. Glad to see the man that got me interested in speedrunning at the first GDQ I was able to meet. Maybe next time they will let you do a Funk to the Pass speedrun. Good luck, Peacole, and try to break the patty. <laughs> we have a $20. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so, uh, the mutant, basically, the plot of this game is that the mutant is using his green beam to turn the world's monuments into phallic symbol cartoons. So we need to stop him, because that is bad. And this is a family stream. I forgot. My bad. So we're in the creepy basement now, and it doesn't even matter because all of the floors look the same. Comic books. Woo! <laughs> so really, this game is basically walk down the hallways at predeterminedly words sends you to, and then find the items you need to proceed to the next predetermined hallway. Get a real good sense of adventure. Also, we just killed Squidward again. Sorry, Squidward. I never get tired of that, like, two seconds of that elevator song, either. Over and over again. It's great. So we need to pump, oh, we need to paint our boy Adam West. So he can come alive. Somehow. It's okay. I'm okay. No big whoop. No, no major, major damage. damage. By the way, nice work. I'm now back. And ready to rumble. Pinky's the one who did this to me, and he's going to pay. Hey, while I go after him, I strongly suggest. I don't know why he puts his leg up there. Tail. Cool. Gotta zoom. <laughs> Galloping gazelle also has a very large uh, area where the sun doesn't shine. Oh, baby. <laughs> you dare to interfere! You dare to interfere. So we know the mass mutant's weakness is tuna because he's scared of it. Tuna fear. Yeah? No, no one liked that one. Yeah, that's a classic, too. So back in this room... Cool. So we saved Trihex here. You are a cadet to be trusted. Quo, one more thing. Never forget the feedback credo. Look hot, stay cool, and always steer clear of the beam. Look hot, stay cool, and always steer clear of the beam. Last one's kind of optional. First two, life motto right there. Look hot, stay cool all the time. <laughs> oh, that's not supposed to happen. Ha, <laughs> just kidding, it is. As usual, I'm forehead, forehead and hips, time. forehead and hips. Don't you just love me? <laughs> Gonna get a lot of forehead in this one. Captain Bob, at your service. I know you're dying to thank me. Everyone always is, but there's no time for that now. That comic book you arrived oh God. I see it? Don't, Don't tell me you've it. lost it. It must be in the building. No, it's actually floating through space because you exploded the elevator on me for some reason. How the heck do we even get to space? I'll let the other league members know what's happening. When you find it, meet me in room 509. Till then, my friend. Sweet hips, bro. So Captain Bob is clearly a very trustworthy fellow, and we will be Spending our next 20 seconds of gameplay before the next cutscene. Whoa, wrong way. Getting the comic book for Captain Bob. 
Uh, I guess you could read a donation if you want, if we have one. Yeah. We have a $20 donation from Flatmat. Dear Patty, congratulations on making it to SGDQ. Let's cut the patty, make the ice jump, and avoid those bowler balls. World record time. <laughs> also, a special hay striper to striper on the couch. Hey, striper. I'm gonna stomp on your foot until it bleeds. Hey, striper. Oh, come on now. Room 509. This is the second cutscene you can't skip, and thank God you can't oh, skip you it, because it's awesome. Great. Hand it over! Aw, oh, Captain Bob, why? Oh, it's cute. Oh, look at him. That untrustworthy dog, the magnificent molecule man, imprisoned Chinchilla in this comic book, and he took a buffoon like, like you to free her for me. Now, yeah. I figure the least I can do I've watched these cutscenes a few favor. times, just throwing that out there. By just in case some of you thought this was like my first time playing the game and I just, you know, really good at reading lips. Also, ice physics in this game are the bane of my existence because they're bad. So, I'm going to be jumping around like a pansy so that I don't have to walk. <laughs> Wee! Oh no! Okay. Alright, we'll see you later, man. All right, we'll see you later, man. I'm zapping them with a rake because this is goosebumps and it's scary. Duh. Idiot. <laughs> Follow me. This is why I play this game. Because it's bad. Lowly, lard, lovers. The total weebles phrase right there. Also, these penguins are adorable. Oh, great line coming up. Right here. Oh, burn! Like Columbus and the Alamo, I am history. I'm gonna say that next time I'm like on a bad date or something. Just kidding, I don't go on dates. <laughs> I play Goosebumps instead. Still alive! Her back must have terrible scoliosis. Where is the hockey stick? Holy crap. <laughs> What's that kid doing in there? Playing hockey. Shoutouts to Bonesaw, who is Canadian and is not here because he is a liar and lied to me about being here. You're here? I hate you. <laughs> Bonesaw is here. Shoutouts to being Canadian anyway. Hockey. Ice. Canada. It's the same thing, right? Also, she just laughed and died, so she's kind of B.A. She, like, literally died. We never see her again. And the reason I'm running into the walls is because you can actually boost yourself forward by hitting the backsides, because who cares about putting hitboxes on the other side of the walls here? Only the front sides matter. So keep that in mind next time you're floating down an icy river and you're trying to avoid the icy shrapnel of the frozen walls. As long as you hit them on the way down, you're fine. <laughs> Art studio, storage, closet, treats, and surprises. And never forget, Pally, it's a jungle out there. I couldn't even bring myself to ruin that by talking over it. <laughs> what are you doing, Spacebar? I have a theory that she's actually made of bong water. Just listen to her talk. The other, you know, guys from the League of Good Guys told me you were around. Isn't it so awful what the mutants do? Yeah, I guess so. He is way nasty, no lie. No, no lie. No. Oh, no. What's that I hear? 
Uh-oh. It's painful. Yeah! Just itching to rub you out! <laughs> Hashtag rub you out. <laughs> this game, it makes it too easy. So uh, we have to walk forward half a step to avoid Pinky. Real tough. Please don't die. <laughs> oh my goodness. This part's actually really nerve-wracking for me because this game is awful. Pretty much why any part of this game is anything for me. <laughs> Just because it's bad. It's me, the galloping gazelle. What's up, man? Get up here to the art room. <laughs> I think I found a way to get to that horrible beam. Got a zoom. Hi. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, man. So we can actually walk through this lobby without running into any crazy foreheads or anything, which is kind of nice. Not so fast. Yeah. I love this giggle coming up too in a few seconds from Pinky. <laughs> I love that. Ooh. Ow. 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 Let's see if we can save a frame here. I'm trying. I'm mashing. Can we save the frame? Can we save it? We saved the frame. Yes. Yeah. Alright, tough part's done. The rest is easy breezy. This out. Could be where the mutant's beam is coming from, don't you think? Uh -oh. I'd have go myself, but you've seen I sometimes tend to mess things up. Besides, <laughs> while you do that, I'm gonna finish off Pinky. Well, I'm gonna try. Try? <laughs> That's all I can ask you to do, man. I appreciate it. Really putting an effort out for the League of Good Guys. While I pull all the weight. Thanks, man. So this is one of the funnest parts of the game because of the voice acting. Which is really all okay. And the death. That's another good part of this part of the game. Is the death and the voice acting. Can we not? Thank you. Alright, we'll see you later. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. No resting! Yeah! No resting! But sir, it was Oh, these frogs are so cute, dude. Oh, it hurts to see this. Oops. That was an accident. That scared the hell out of me as a kid. Now, all of you, back to work. Let's yeah, get back to work. All right, man. We'll get back to work. Steal your gun, son. Squirt on you too. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. This is not good. Okay. Guy's really finicky about falling in the water there. Oh, oh, way to go. So cool. Oh, we're so grateful to you for getting rid of that wicked wardlock. We wanted to reward you with some, some sort of really, really nifty gift. gift. We thought, should it be a rabbit tied up with a ribbon? Or a steel stick studded with rivets? Or a robin from the river? Or a raybird screeching speaker? I still don't know what she says there. Still don't know. Enough! I thank you. We finally set our sights higher. And so should you. Here, here you go. go. Use, Use it, it wisely. Come on, over here. This way out. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this that cutscene is probably my favorite cutscene in the game, just because of how it is. I don't even know what adjective to use to describe that cutscene. So froggy. Cutscene. God, there you are. This woman's forehead. For meeting in the seventh floor storage room, and you really have to be there. If you've been to the control room, you know we're running out of time. Oh no! Your world has never been in such imminent danger. We have I feel like to the Holocaust the was pretty dangerous, now. personally, but you know, green beam also up there on the national disaster list. I hope I'm not late. <laughs> not at all. You're just in time. For me to kick you, silly. What was the idea of knocking me into the elevator with your bowl of balls? I was trying to save your <laughs> life. How, by killing me? Stop it! Both of you need to chill out. 
Why? I may be a little clumsy, but at least you know literally a turtle. It, unlike some people. You know, you and the mutant have always seemed like way bonded. Yes, but things have changed. Now I want to see him stopped. So persuade, persuade us, man. Well, look around this room. Corniest part His of the, the whole game right here. Very real, until mutant experimented with his green beam. Now they're part of Perfectly timed. So that's his trick. His beam converts the whole world. Mm -hmm. Then he's like king of the universe. All right, you lost me between but converts the world and king of the universe. You're supposed to believe somewhere you're in there. With us Missed now. a few things. I'll do the only thing I can do. I'll give you my word. So we have your word. What now? We need to find out where that beam is being blasted from. And shut it down before the conversion's complete. Conversion. Why don't you check the stats in the control room, man? The rest will be. That's me. Touch. I'm man, by the way. Let's move I'm it. I'm checking the stats in the control room. That's that's my job. I'm important. Five minutes. Trihex gave me a job, and I'm gonna do it. Five minutes. Oh, and get stuck in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, Jesus. <laughs> Got you. I can't even explain this game. That's why I've been so quiet because I I just let the game explain itself through its actions. Honestly, what the hell is going on right now? <laughs> Sweet spin. Get down to the basement. Root rots up to something and must be stopped. Totally necessary front flip. Oh my god. Controls, please. Now I know this is a family stream. But uh Yeah. <laughs> oh, wrong button. There we go. Nope. Maybe. Hello? Apparently the use button doesn't want to be used. He has a funny belly button. And he's also dead. Hey, nice work, kiddo! Thanks, man. Two minutes until conversion completion. Get Two the minutes. Guitar. Split now. If the conversion gets done, man, mute wins. Ugh. Two minutes. Narcolepsy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but now we can save the world with the power of rock and roll, which is pretty cool. Even though we don't save the word with the power of rock and roll. Oh my god. Oh, I used it. Never mind. I did it right. <laughs> also, that was a lot of strafing against a totally blue wall. Very interesting to look at. Also, this is the end of the game, so that's pretty cool. So you can finally stop watching this. <laughs> rock and roll! What are you doing there? You really nearly got spiked. Don't look at me like that. Oh, I'm looking at you I'm like setting that. Setting a trap. Oh, not for you. For those bug machines. They're headed this way. They're stationary. On, give me your hand, and I'll help you pass this. All right, sounds good. This molecule man really is magnificent. <laughs> I will also quit speed running forever. After that. I'll do it later. Oh, come on. Alright, we'll see if we can get this, but I'm bad at it. So maybe not, maybe so. He gets in his little UFO and flies up to the uh, big bin of Slima Juice. Yes, it's called Slima Juice. And we can get there before him and just shoot him. Also, get ready for time. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Oh, time. Good. We got it.
Don't clap for this game. Don't do it. Ooh, it's dirty. Dies in a blazing green fart. <laughs> And, and, thank you. NetSat News Newsflash! Cartoons are back to normal. That's pretty cool. NetSat Newsflash live feed from NetSat Satellite. We have a camera on a satellite for no reason. Look at how non-cartoon it is. <laughs> NetSat News. Live from the sea. <laughs> yeah! The whole town. Oh, there it is. The world. We are more than happy to make you an honorary member of the League of Good Guys. <laughs> I love the way he freezes on the left there. Okay, so that's that's it. There's one more cutscene that is actually a great cutscene that would take me like a minute and a half to two minutes to get to, if I can do that or not. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it then. We're gonna load. Good. We actually have saves. That's nice. So I gotta climb this place again and press the wrong buttons. Make that two to two and a half minutes to get to. <laughs> uh, it's actually a different cutscene. If you get to the very end of the game to fight the mutant, we'll just skip this one for now because this one doesn't matter. Yeah, you can skip cutscenes. I know. You hate me. I get it. Um, but if you get to the very. <laughs> Good run! <laughs> uh, where is the desktop on this terrible machine? There it is. <laughs> Don't give up the ship, Magooster. The world needs a hero, and it's got to be you. That's what it says. Is it still capturing? Okay, good. Because, good lord. Embarrassment doesn't even begin to describe what just occurred there. But that's okay, because I'm used to embarrassing myself. So it works out fine. Alright, let's not be dumb for just a little bit. No. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Alright, so basically if you make it all the way to the end where the cutscene plays, where you zero in on the little bullseye. That's basically like the initiation for the final fight. It's so epic. This one right here. But if you fail to beat the mutant in your little stupid kid battle here, and you fall or you die, then a specific losing cutscene plays, and it's great. And we're going to watch it right now. Totally worth it. And that's Goosebumps. It's bad, and I love it. Thank you, Patty. Oh, and if anyone's interested, you can uh, also check out the Goosebumps fan club.